Today's video will leave you on the edge of your seat, as we delve into the horrifying world of animal hoarding, and the gruesome consequences that follow. From snakes and tarantulas to bears and crocodiles, these true stories will leave you with chills down your spine. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and prepare to be mesmerized by the most spine-tingling tales ever told. Click the like button, and subscribe to Think Brighter. Exotic Pets Mark Voegel was a man who loved his pets. However, his affinity for creatures that most people fear and avoid, eventually led to his demise. In a tragic turn of events, a black widow spider, one of his most treasured pets, bit him, and in the two weeks it took for anyone to discover his body, his entire collection of animals had consumed him. Voegel lived a solitary life in a small apartment in Dortmund, Germany. His home was filled with a vast array of exotic pets, including snakes, lizards, and hundreds of insects. He had a particular fascination with black widow spiders, and he kept several of them in glass tanks around his home. Unfortunately, one of these spiders proved to be his undoing. In a cruel twist of fate, the black widow bit him, and the venom began to take hold. Despite Voegel's best efforts to treat the bite, he eventually succumbed to the effects of the poison. For the next two weeks, Voegel's apartment was a hive of activity. The creatures that he had kept as pets for so long, now saw him as a source of sustenance. Spiders, lizards, and snakes all descended on his body, with bits of him scattered all around the apartment. The sight that greeted the authorities when they finally discovered his body was one of horror. The apartment was filled with the stench of decay, and the floors and walls were covered in a thick layer of webbing. The windows were blocked with webs, and the room was filled with the sounds of insects and other animals scurrying around. It was a disturbing sight, one that spoke to the deep loneliness that Voegel must have felt in his life. In his pursuit of companionship, he had turned to the creatures that most people fear, and in the end, they had turned on him. The Snakes Laura Hurst, had a fascination with snakes and other reptiles, that led to her amassing a collection of over 100 of these creatures in her home, in New Hampshire. Unfortunately, her obsession with these animals ultimately led to her tragic demise in 2010. The story of Laura Hurst and her snake collection began long before her untimely death. Friends and family members recall that Hurst had always been fascinated with reptiles, and she began collecting them as pets in her early 20s. Her collection quickly grew to include a wide variety of snakes, lizards, and other exotic creatures. Hurst's love of snakes, eventually led her to acquire a pet boa constrictor. The snake, which she named Kaiser, quickly became one of her favorites. However, as Kaiser grew larger and more aggressive, he became increasingly difficult to handle. In 2010, Hearst's body was discovered in her home, strangled to death by her pet boa constrictor. The discovery was shocking to her friends and family, many of whom had no idea that she had such a large collection of snakes and other reptiles. As news of Hearst's death spread, authorities launched an investigation into the conditions of her home, and the care of her animals. What they found was disturbing. In addition to the over 100 snakes and reptiles, they also discovered several dead animals, and evidence of neglect and abuse. It quickly became apparent that Hearst's love for these animals had become an obsession that had spiraled out of control. The Cockroach Hoarder The sight of a single cockroach is enough to make most people shudder with disgust, but imagine living in a home with over 20,000 of these pests. For Amber Abrecht, this was her reality in 2017, when authorities discovered her living in a cockroach-infested home, in New York. The conditions in Abrecht's home were beyond belief. Cockroaches covered every surface, from the walls to the floors, and even the furniture. The stench of the infestation was overpowering, and the sheer number of cockroaches, made it impossible to walk through the home without crushing dozens of them underfoot. Ibrek's hoarding of cockroaches had gotten so out of control, that the home was deemed uninhabitable, and she was forced to vacate the property. For Ibrek, her obsession with cockroaches began innocently enough. She had always been interested in bugs and had even kept a small collection of cockroaches as pets. However, as her collection grew, so did her hoarding behavior, and she became unable to control the influx of new insects. Her cockroach hoarding, had become so severe that she was unable to maintain a healthy living environment. While the hoarding of cockroaches may seem extreme, the truth is that hoarding disorder can manifest in a variety of ways. The Rat Hoarder In 2018, the world was shocked by the discovery of the body of Linda Metheny, a woman who had been living in squalor with hundreds of pet rats. Her home in Virginia had become a rat hoarder's paradise, and the woman had been dead for several months before anyone realized what had happened. The discovery of her body and the horrific conditions in which she lived, 
shed light on the dangers of hoarding, both to the hoarder themselves and to the animals that may be living with them. Linda Metheny was a single woman, who had no family and lived alone in her small home in Winchester, Virginia. She had been an animal lover all her life and had adopted many pets over the years, including cats, dogs, and birds. However, in recent years, she had become obsessed with rats, and her love for these small creatures had taken over her life. Metheny's home had become overrun with rats, and she had stopped cleaning or taking care of herself. Her home was filled with trash and debris, and the rats had taken over every corner of the house. Despite the dangerous and unhealthy living conditions, Metheny refused to leave her home and insisted that she was happy living with her pets. Neighbors had reported strange smells coming from the home, and some had even seen rats crawling around outside the windows. However, Metheny was reclusive, and few people knew what was going on inside her home. It wasn't until a concerned neighbor contacted the local authorities, that anyone discovered the extent of the situation. When police entered the home, they found Metheny's body lying on the floor, partially eaten by her pet rats. The rats had been living off her remains for weeks, and there was evidence that they had been gnawing on her flesh. The scene was gruesome and shocking, and it was clear that Metheny had been dead for some time. The Tarantulas In 2015, the world was shocked by the discovery of Warren Wise, a man who had been living with over 300 tarantulas in his home in California. The infestation had become so severe that it had caused damage to the structure of the house. The discovery of Wise's tarantula hoarding, shed light on the little-known phenomenon of arachnid hoarding, and the dangers associated with it. Warren Wise was a collector of tarantulas and had been fascinated with these creatures for many years. He had started out with just a few tarantulas, but over time, his collection had grown into an obsession. Wise had stopped cleaning his home and had allowed the spiders to take over every corner of the house. Neighbors had reported strange smells and noises coming from Wise's home. When police entered the home, they found Wise living in squalor with over 300 tarantulas crawling around the house. Tarantulas are venomous creatures that can cause serious harm if mishandled. They require specific care and attention to thrive, and the conditions in which Wise was keeping them were far from ideal. In addition to the health risks posed by the tarantulas, Wise's hoarding had caused damage to the structure of his home. The spiders had chewed through walls and insulation, and their waste had caused significant damage to the floors and walls. These stories are a stark reminder of the dangers of animal hoarding, and the unpredictable nature of wild animals. We hope that these tales have shed light on the importance of responsible pet ownership, and the need for proper education and awareness around animal welfare. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video. Click here to watch the terrifying shark attack on Henry Bourse.